Hey everyone out there in internet land. Today we are going to create a custom multi-view part catalog. And that's so in future episodes that we can create custom MVP parts without adding them to the standard AutoCAD MVP catalog. The benefit to this is that when we install a new version of AutoCAD MVP, uh, we do not have to sort our parts out of the standard catalog and place them in the new catalog. We can just go into their new version of AutoCAD MEP or on another computer and just point to this location of our custom catalog. So to do that we need to open up the catalog editor and the easiest way is to just come up to the manage tab of your ribbon to the MEP content panel and just click the catalog editor button. Before I do that if I hover over this I can see that the command line to launch this is launch catalog editor. Alternatively, you could go into your um, folder explorer and go into your installation folder where you installed AutoCAD MEP and there should be a file called aecbcatalogeditor.exe. You can just click and start that normally. Create a shortcut to it to your desktop, whatever you want to do. But as I mentioned, this is probably the easiest way just to come in here and click Catalog Editor. So we're going to create a new multi-view part catalog and we're going to place that in our My Documents folder. And the reason why I'm placing it there is I'm running Windows 10. I believe Windows 8 is the same way. It's one of the folders on our system that has the least amount of permission restrictions. So Windows is really starting to lock down their folders and then this is an easy one to get to and not having to worry about any restrictions on it. So I'm going to come in here to my My Documents folder. I'm just going to create a new one real quick. And I'm just going to call it AutoCAD MVP Custom Parts. Then I'm going to come back into my catalog editor. I'm going to say File new and I'm creating multi view part catalog and I'm going to call this um, custom MV parts and because I live in the US and most parts I make will be Imperial I'm going to go ahead and post fix it with Imperial so I know that this catalog is full of Imperial parts for my description I could put about anything that I want in there I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate my catalog name because that tells me pretty much everything I need to know. Now for the catalog root directory, let's go ahead and scroll to that folder we just made in our documents. And we have AutoCAD MEP custom parts. And you know what? I prefer to name that custom catalogs. I'm going to come in here and just rename this real quick. Rename it to custom catalogs, hit enter, come back in here and let's see if this will refresh for us. Click that, down and AutoCAD MVP and it didn't refresh so let's just cancel and go back into here. And we should be good now so we'll come up to the documents, AutoCAD MVP custom catalogs, there we go. I'm going to hit OK and hit OK and we are in our custom catalog. Once we're in here we can go ahead and change our description if we want. We can supply an image for the catalog which will show up down here. We can give it a name for our supplier, image, and URL and these will all be um, just path out to where the, that specific uh, image exists. So that's it. That's how you create a custom MV part catalog. The next thing to do would be to go into AutoCAD MEP and to add this catalog. So it looks like I have this. Um, what do I want to do? I want to overwrite it because I know that what I had in there was pretty much nothing. So now let's go into our options and let's go into multiple parts and let's add and now let's go to that catalog we just created right here we'll open it up and hit apply and say okay and that's it 
That's how you create a custom catalog. Thanks for watching.